Tonight, I just upgraded my Vegas program to version Pro 20. I've been using it since Pro 8, so I've been familiar with it for quite a while. And one of the issues that I've always had with it is how it works with certain VST3 plugins. Version 20 is supposed to be better compatible with the VST3 plugins, so, but it's mainly the Waves plugins that cause me grief. And I don't know if anybody else has the same issue, but they've never worked for me up until version 20, which will show in just a little bit. But first I'll show you, I got this little backcountry clip. It's got an audio track recorded from a sequence off my Dig Attack synthesizer drum machine. So let's say I want to add the Abbey Road mastering plugin to it. Well, you got to add it. <laughs> I selected it, but you got to add it. Or double click it. Okay, now uh, after it seems like it's, you know, it's in there. But as soon as the interface comes up, then you'll see what I mean by it. You can't use them. Check, check. So it just puts all kinds of, it makes the audio drop, it glitches out. And as soon as you close the interface, it seems to work okay. But So, I never used them, but things are a little bit different with version 20. So, I'm going to close out of this one and then open up version 20 and we'll see the difference. Okay, back on, input monitoring on. Make sure I don't have anything loaded. Should be the same. Okay, let's try it again. And there you have it. Now you can work with this plugin without them tripping out. So, and I really do like this plugin because it, it can do a lot. That's without it. And you can see the output. I mean, we're not even coming close to clipping anything. 